Hey guys, uh, I just sat down to put this video together and something occurred to me. So I figured I better put it fairly early on in the video so that most people would see it. Um, I remember back when I was going through, uh, you know, early on in welding and trying to get different tickets and that. And trying to get information on things and certain tests and how they work and how they go. Um, and it seemed like back then, like I've been welding for almost 14 years now, so it seems like back then all this information was like a secret and like it wasn't really much available. You basically had to pay somebody money uh, to get any information. It was crazy and I remember being nervous about tests and not knowing what I was doing in different situations. So I think if anyone has any interest you can let me know. Um, I would like to find a piece of 6 inch skid 80 pipe to do a, an initial B pressure test for all your aspiring uh, Alberta pressure welders here. Anyone who wants to try it for their initial B. Uh, I did mine four years ago, I think. Past the first try. But I took the course though before I, before I got my test. Um, and I remember, I remember, like I know how that test goes. So it'd be nice to get a set of coupons and go through the initial B step by step. For someone wanting to practice on their own and doesn't got the money for the course, uh, they you know they could watch my video and get information from that. Or like uh, I know back in New Brunswick there's like ASME full pin plate walling tests and then you know I got lots of CWB tickets and stuff. So maybe if someone's having trouble or wants to know something, trying to get through a weld test, maybe you can request. And I'm not saying I'll have the time to do it right away, but. Uh, you know, I could at least get back to you and post a video or, or whatever, you know, to try to help, to try to do what I can to help other people out. Uh, I like it when other people have channels that have knowledge that they pass on. So it, it occurred to me, like, I have knowledge. I've, I've been in the same trade for many years, so I'd like to give back. So if anyone sees this, doesn't matter if it's now or 10 years from now, and, uh, wants to leave a comment, uh, has a question, or wants to see a video on something weld related, maybe I can help you out. So right on guys, let's get back to the video. And there you go. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Now I gotta go to work. Huh. Man, it's hot out today. Holy crap, it's hot out today. Have a good one, guys. Oh, well, what a day. So, I passed my test, and then after that, I headed out to work, and they had this huge, I don't know what it was, a 32 inch pipe or something, probably 50 feet long. And <laughs> it was up in the air, and we had to go up in man lifts, one on each end, and uh, cut it out of there and crane it out. So, that was kind of a wild day to, uh, wild, wild way to finish my day. So, my test went good. Um, 
When I first started this morning, I tacked it up, put it in position, got it ready to go. I did the first bottom section, good. <laughs> the second one, I wasn't really in too comfortable of, of a position. I was like, oh, whatever, I'll just do it. And I came, and I just started off my tack just a little ways, and I snubbed out. So, that's the nice part about uh, using that just under 1 8 gap with that... Uh, at 564th disc, you can just hammer right in there and just cut. Like you can have like a section that didn't penetrate in your root and you can just hammer right in with that disc, cut it back out, then feather the sides back out, like bevel the sides back out and try again. So I just had a little bit, just a little, a little bit, cut it back out, went up, got that part of the root and it's coming up weird on the side and kind of missed my top tack. So again, just cut it out, feathered it out a bit and finished her off. Root was fine. Rest of the test, okay. There's one spot when I was filling. And I went to break it off in uh, multiple passes. And I kind of didn't leave a lot of room between that and the edge. So it was kind of tight. So when you, when you get like that, where it's tight to get into a spot, don't try just to jam your rod in there and hope for the best. Don't take any chances and test. Take a, a quarter inch, a rounded off quarter inch disc, and get in there and grind it right out. Grind a nice groove out. And weld it. Don't leave nothing to chance. You know, at the bottom, you'll uh, do a pass one half, and then you just feather down your start and go the other way. When you feather your start, go right down to bare metal. Don't leave little specks, and don't leave nothing to chance. Just keep everything clean and weld her out. So then, when it comes to the bend test, you got nothing to worry about. Uh, that's about it. Uh, if you want to see more detail. Um, and how I did that weld. Look at my previous video. I think it's called uh, How to Pass a Pressure Welding Test or How to Pass a Pipe Welding Test or something like that. But just go to my channel, look at my previous video, and I do a mock up of uh, going through that whole weld process. So there you go. I've got my small bore uh, max weld thickness ticket for uh, another two years. That's it. Things are good. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is a coup few kind of cool things coming up on the channel here so look out for those thanks a lot guys have a good one